So I want to show you how to use the equation editor to insert equations and then how to insert symbols. So let's say you wanted to enter the equation for a circle, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. I would insert equation or what I prefer is the control E shortcut. That brings this up. So that would be x and then if I go over here this will be superscripts or subscripts. We're going to want a superscript squared push to the right to drop down to the regular level, plus y. And you could do it this way again, superscript squared equals, or another thing that you can do is you can highlight the part you just did, paste it, and then just change the number from, well, the number is going to stay the same there, and just change this to r. Um, it's really your choice. The longer the equation gets, the more complicated, perhaps the, the uh, more you want to do that. And then let's say I record that. Now, if you're editing this in exam view, you'll then be able to double click this and edit it in the future. If you have it exported to Moodle or something like that, it will export strictly as an image, but it'll look a lot nicer than if you were to just copy and paste it from the Regents exam. Now, let's say we want to insert another equation, perhaps the equation for finding the focal length of a, a lens. So I did Control E to bring this up again. We're going to want a fraction. So if you click over here, you probably want it stacked. You could say 1 over the focal length to the right equals, do that again, stacked, 1 over di. And this we want to be a superscript, so I can click this, superscript i. And then I might take this and copy it instead of redoing it again paste it, and then I'm just going to change that i to an f, and we've got our equation there for finding the focal length. I can go ahead, I can record that, and that comes out nicely. Again, when you record that, well, it's not going to let me record the question because there's no answers. Um, it looks a lot nicer than if we had just copied and pasted an image. While we're at it, symbols, in particular things like the degree symbol or theta, you just go to insert symbol and you've got a whole variety of symbols to, to choose from. You might choose, for example, the degree sign, or you might choose uh, one of these symbols down here. And uh, actually, you keep hitting insert, it'll, it'll actually keep inserting it, but I, I think you get the idea. So if I wanted to enter uh, as a choice, maybe 50 degrees, I would type 50 and then insert symbol degrees, insert, and there it is. Notice if I keep inserting, it gets degree happy, but you get the idea. Again, this will come out a lot nicer than if you were to just type it out yourself. And there's all sorts of fonts, all sorts of characters, but you really should be able to just work from this page for the most part. I did want to say something really quickly about nuclear notation. I would actually enter this using the equation editor. Um, it comes out a lot nicer than if you just copy and paste from the original Regents exam. And to do that, you just use a superscript and a subscript at the same time. So if I wanted to uh, put this in as an answer choice to this gibberish question, Control E brings up the editor, and I might say uranium. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a superscript and a subscript on the left. So I guess I put the U in the wrong place, but let's make that 234. Let's make that 92. Let's make that uranium. So I'll delete that U. And I might do it from scratch, or I might use this trick where I paste it. But I want an arrow, because it's a decay, so I can go over here to the arrows section and choose an arrow to the right. That certainly accomplishes that. And remember, I pasted this part. So I'd paste it again. And in this particular question I'm looking at, this becomes 230 and 90 and thorium. that and inserts it and it looks nice and clean. 
Uh, so while you certainly can just copy and paste it as an image, it's probably a little quicker, it does come out looking a lot nicer if you take the time to do it. Last, I want to say something about entering scientific notation. I find that's accomplished best not in the equation editor, but right in here, but you've got to use a superscript for the power. So let's say we were going to enter the charge of an electron, 1.6 times 10, and now we've got to enter a power, negative 19. I like to type in the negative 19 and then highlight that and go to format or right click on the text and you'll get the same option and font and you're going to select superscript much like you would in a word or any other word processing program. And let's say I had numbers of choices to add. What I actually like to do is just copy this one and then paste and I don't have to do the superscript because it's already there so maybe I make this 3.2 something like that